What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am stoked. Me and my buddy Cam are at a brand new lake. I'm going to be showing you guys how to break down a new body of water. Today the goal for myself is to catch five bass. So come along with me. Let's hit the water and let's see what we can do. All right guys. So Cam is going to start heading across the lake, hitting some main lake and secondary points. I'm going to start with this crankbait here on this riprap. Anytime you see riprap pre-spawn or in the winter, you definitely got to throw a crankbait on it. The crankbait I'm starting with is the OG Slim. This is actually tiny. So that's what I'm gonna start off with, a little flat sided crankbait. Water temperature is 53 degrees right now. Pretty warm, honestly, for this type of year. Like I said, this is the very first time I've been to this lake. It's actually a lowland reservoir. Don't fish too many of these types of lakes, but I'm really excited to give it a try. And I might end up having to go with something a little bit more finessey or dragging something a little bit slower because we don't have a lot of wind on this section of the lake. The wind's coming from the south and this is actually south side over here. When we get over to the other side of the lake, we should have a nice breeze today and be able to power fish a little bit more. And there are muskie in this lake as well. So then this big swim bed around, we actually have a pretty good chance of hooking one. What's going on? You have any luck? Musky. You, you break off. Was it pretty clean? A clean break off? Are you fishing shallow or are you fishing uh, deeper? All right, later. So just got off the phone with Cam. He said he probably broke a musky off on a finesse jig. So we're gonna tie on a finesse jig. Something I really like to use in the winter. All right guys, so time for a little midday update. It has been an absolute grind today. Been looking for fish on the graph all morning long. I've been doing a little fishing, but mainly graphing, and I cannot find anything. This lake is really clear, so what I'm assuming is going on is they're probably very, very deep, probably about 20 to 30 feet on drop-offs. So I'm gonna go back out to the main lake, continue to graph around for a while. I don't wanna fish an area just to fish it. I'd rather graph around, find fish in that area, and then fish it. So like I said, we're gonna go back out to the main lake, continue to graph around for a little bit. Hopefully we'll find a mega school, and then we'll sit down and pick those fish apart for a little bit. Stay tuned and let's see what we can do. Oh, finally, <laughs> finally, let's go. Gosh, that took a while. <laughs> finally, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, so Cam just caught a couple. First one of the day for me, nothing impressive at all. Cast right back up in there, see if there's any more. Oh my gosh. Guys, there we go. Spook something as I throw it up there. Decent one. There we go. <laughs> Whew. Goodness gracious. They're making us work for them today, guys. Yes, they are. Nice healthy one. Took that jig. Popped right out. Look at that one, guys. Very pretty fish. Let's say he is about two and a quarter to a two and a half. That gut. Super healthy. So we're saying, let's say 2.35. Dang, pretty close. 2.4. 
getting back on our game nice one starting to get a gut not quite filled out probably a bigger male if i had to guess let's get a quick length real quick i'm just curious let's say probably 17 and a half 18. all right all right all right all right so cam put us on the finesse jig ended up tossing up there and saw something move right away See you later. All right, number two, number two. The bite seems like it might be picking up a little bit, which is exciting. That's exactly what we need. You should go. You should go hit that um, that like little those logs over there. I need to put on a more shallow diving jerkbait, honestly. Toss that around a little bit. Oh, caught a little guy. Uh, off the off the thing I told you to cast on. All right, guys, number three. All right, guys, we got half an hour to complete the challenge. I'm sprinting to the wood that's on the bank over here because that's been the key so far. It's been wood, especially wood coming off the bank in the water. Those fish have been pretty shallow today, which has actually been very surprising to me. But we got two fish to catch in 30 minutes. So again, we're slipping over here as quickly as we can. And hopefully we can land two more. We might fish a little bit longer today, but again, the challenge is catching five bass in four hours. If we don't complete that, challenge failed but still having a great day. Really glad the bite picked up because we were struggling very hard earlier. So let's get over here, let's toss this jig around and let's see if we can't catch a couple more. I'm nervous guys. About 25 minutes to get this challenge done. The key is not to fish too fast. So I wanna fish quickly, but I don't wanna fish fast. When I find the type of stuff I'm looking for, like that tree coming off the bank, I need to slow down on that. Stuff in between, I just need to run and gun. Oh, oh you son of a biscuit. Didn't have my hand on the reel and oh, it's painful. Probably wasn't a big one, but I don't care about the size right now. Oh, guys, that hurts so bad. That hurts so bad. All right, guys, so that is gonna wrap it up today. Five fish in four hours. Challenge was not successful today. We ended up getting three in four hours. Cam actually got five, so that was great. Uh, and he lost number six and seven. So he ended up out fishing me today. Uh, he did a really, really good job. He was on the finesse bite a little bit earlier than I was. So he was tossing around a finesse jig. That kind of leads me right into what went right and what went wrong today. So what went right, we came out here to a brand new body of water. We had an idea in mind of what we wanted to do. And at the end of the day, we ended up being flexible because what went wrong was I was a little bit too stubborn this morning. I ended up throwing the spinner bait for a really, really long time. Uh, we did have some wind on the water. The conditions were calling for a little bit more clouds. So I kind of fished the forecast instead of fishing what was right in front of me. Cam, on the other hand, was throwing the finesse jig early. And he actually put me onto that. As soon as we switched over to the finesse jig, we started getting bites. I really expected them to be in like 10 to 15 feet of water. They were actually really, really shallow. They were in about three to five feet of water on wood. Um, so he kind of put me on that pattern. So shout out to Cam. I always enjoy fishing with him. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. 90% of you guys who view my videos are not subscribed. So go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's free. I really appreciate it. And I promise you a lot more great content to come. With that being said, stay tuned until the next one.